Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's update on Tropical Storm Carl. So, as of 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Friday, October the 14th, Tropical Storm Carl has maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour, a minimum central pressure of 1,003 millibars, and is moving south-southwest at 5 miles per hour. Looking at the key messages for Tro Tropical Storm Carl, heavy rainfall associated with Carl could produce flash flooding, with mudslides in areas of higher terrain across portions of Veracruz, Tabasco, uh, Chiapas, Chipias, and Oaxaca states in Mexico. Tropical storm conditions, especially in gusts, are expected to within a portion of the warring area in southern Mexico this evening. And uh, for my friends watching in Mexico, here are the key messages in Spanish, if you'd like to pause the video. Looking at the satellite imagery for Tropical Storm Carl, Tropical Storm Carl has, is, looks like it has completely fallen apart as we have no, no longer have any convection around the center whatsoever. All the convection is already uh, bringing rain to areas of southeastern Mexico and the Yucatan Peninsula. So we're already seeing a heavy rain across areas of southeastern Mexico. And we're likely seeing some flooding already from the uh, southeastern side of Tropical Storm Carl. But this system has been completely sheared apart by about 25 to 30 knots of wind shear. And uh, Carl will continue to fall apart as it slowly nears landfall overnight tonight across the northern coast of the Bay of Campeche in southeastern Mexico. Looking at the official cone, um, a tropical storm Carl is expected to weaken to a tropical depression overnight, and now it's looking like uh, the landfall is going to be delayed to tomorrow afternoon across uh, the north central portion of the Mexican coast in the Bay of Campeche. We still have tropical storm warnings in effect for the blue areas, and we are seeing some tropical storm force winds move on shore areas of Mexico in the orange shaded area. Looking at the intensity model guidance, all the models are weakening and dissipating tropical storm Carl in the next 12 to 48 hours as it eventually moves on land and falls apart. And looking at the spaghetti model plots, uh, the spaghetti model plots curve uh, Carl southwest to west-southwest over the next 24 hours. And we are seeing now landfall could be delayed for another 24 hours if the spaghetti model plots uh, verify. Looking at the uh, European model for projected rainfall totals, uh, areas of uh, south, southern and southeastern Mexico are expected to see an additional 1 to 3 inches, with isolated 4 inches on top of what's already fallen. So we could be seeing some scattered flash flooding across areas of southeastern Mexico. And looking at the GFS model, uh, the GFS model is a lot less lower, a lot less excited about rainfall totals. The GFS is only putting about a half an inch to an inch and a half across southeastern Mexico. But I do believe that the European model solution will be the more accurate one, as uh, tropical systems tend to produce a whole lot of rain even when they're weak and disorganized. So make sure you're watching out for scattered flash flooding if you live in southeastern Mexico from Carl. So thanks for watching this evening's update on Tropical Storm Carl. Uh, stay safe and have a wonderful evening, my friends.